Phil McKay's first team coach, Mark Hams, after this evening's 1 0 win over Lewis. Mark, how pleased were you with the way the side dug in in the last 15 minutes with 10 men to hold on for victory tonight? Uh, delighted, just not just the 15 minutes, the, the whole game um, today, the whole game Saturday. Um, I know you've done an interview with um, Martin since Saturday, but there's, there's two, two good results. Like it's two, let's not mess about, there's two good sides. Um, a lot of people have said, um, I don't agree with this, but a lot of people have said, oh, Hendon won't stay out there because they're not good. But that's, they, we've played two good teams here. Um, but yeah, the last 15 minutes, that's all you can ask of the boys, isn't it? Use your loaf, don't go chasing balls into um, when their fullbacks are on the ball. What's the point in going and trying to win it there because you just come, you become out of the game, etc. Just Let's just try and be professional. And we looked... I thought we looked strong. So I don't mean strong as in we're going to go and batter every team we play now and we're going to go and win the league. Or what I mean is we just looked, um, just looked like men. I thought in the in particular in the last 15 minutes, but overall over the two games we looked like men for a change. Like you say, it's six points against two very good sides. There has been a couple of changes in personnel, but they've been tweaks rather than wholesale changes. What else has changed in that dressing room to warrant these two results? Um, so I, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. To be honest with you, I think sometimes when you, if you could put your finger on it, when you're in situations like that, you, you'd be worth a lot of money because it happens at a lot of clubs and, and the amount of times that you, that managers, coaches, players, fans, um, chairman, and, and, and just say what is going on and you just don't know. Um, I'm not so sure. There's not a lot different. To be honest with you, we haven't really changed um, methods of training. Um, they've been. I've got to be honest. It's not just <laughs> said it in the last interview down at Paul. Not just being a yes man. They've been managed very well. Um, might be slight differences in, in the way they've been managed in terms of um, getting into people's heads. That's not really my side of things, that is down to the manager, but not, not a lot's changed really, to be honest with you. Have you rated Ramon McRae's contribution in the last two games? I think he's been excellent, I think he's been a very good engine. Um, he surprises me because there's balls that he goes for and I'm thinking, what is the point in you going for that? And he just gets that telescopic leg. And, um, <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. He, get, he gets that um, telescopic leg on the end of it, and all of a sudden you're on the counter attack, as opposed to um, us getting battered on the counter attack, which we have done at stages this season. So he's doing well for us. He's, it's good to have him around. I've just said that to him. It's really good to have him around. And how likely is he going to stay? Is any loan signing at the moment? Is that right? Uh, yeah, you don't, you'd have to talk to the manager about that. I'm not bucking the question. I just don't know. It's not not really my side of things to go negotiating um, bits and pieces like that. Dallas might well have had a conversation with Dos uh, Paul Doswell today um, that I don't know. I haven't heard about yet, so I'm not going to go. Um, Talking about how long he's going to be or when he's going back, etc. Because I just don't know. How loss was it to lose May Hark in the first half? And what's the prognosis on his injury? Um, well, most prone to hamstrings anyway. That's what happens when you're 47 years old. But he, um, I would imagine, he doesn't think it's a proper tear. He thinks it's more of a spasm, really, which could be quite handy. But even so, if we're if we're going to be sensible about it, I'd probably say he's looking at about a fortnight. What did you make of the, the red card incident of Tom Hutchinson? Well, I just look at them when, when incidents like that are, are given. I mean, you look at it and basically what you're saying is if he does two of... what he, Let's take the second booking, for example. If he does two of those, what you're saying is it's so violent or it's so out of order that the game's better off without him. Is that the case? I mean, bloody hell. It's, the amount of times that people pull each other back... Um, See, what's gone out of the game is people being allowed to collide and if there's any form of contact, if the ref hears any form of contact or the crowd shout, then they feel that they've got to give a decision. You haven't. Just let the bloody game flow. Um, yes, give a foul, but then whatever happens to the old shout, it's just a foul. I mean, I tried to tell my lads that in the academy, it's just a foul, just get on with it. Um, but if you're telling me that for two of those you deserve to be off of the pitch and the crowd and, and the game is better off without you, then nah, you're talking rubbish. What about his, his centre half partner, Gary McDonald, tonight? I thought he had a, an outstanding game. There was one incident in the second half where he, he recovered to make a brilliant slide challenge when it looks odds on they're going to equalise. Yeah, it looked like he was going to lose it. Yeah, but see, that was probably the biggest mystery for us all, really. Um, you could pick on anybody when we were going through our bad period, but the, the, everybody was scandalous, including us as a management. Um, but the biggest mystery was how of Gary and, and Tom become the way they were. I'm not picking them out as the two worst players, but how have they gone from being a massive part of us only losing one out of the last 10 games at the end of last season to conceding so many goals. Um, if it sounds like I'm picking on, I'm not really bothered, to be honest with you, I'm just using them as an example. Um, <laughs> he's been immense, they've both been very, very good, to be honest with you. Look like two proper, and that's when I used the word men earlier, we look like proper, solid, what you want from big, strong centre arse, being solid. <laughs> Did you draw, as a management team, more satisfaction from the win today because it was in more difficult circumstances today than the one on Saturday? We were tested our character this evening, I thought. Yeah, it's, um, Saturday was more of a relief, to be honest with you. You could probably um, sense it from when the final whistle went and me and Dowser on the, it was a it was, it was one of those cuddles that was still going on at about half past six. I wasn't going to let go, he wasn't going to let go. Um, it was, Saturday was more relief than anything and tonight was just... Um, what you didn't want was for tonight to be, um, or for Saturday to have papered over the cracks and 
Um, and if we'd have got beat tonight, then Saturday would have be just been an okay result. It turns out that if we'd have drawn or won tonight, then it would have been a good result. But with the win, it, the Saturday was an excellent result, and tonight's an excellent result. And how pleased are you with the, with the turnaround? I mean, it's, it's I can't believe that we're only a week and a bit on from what happened down at Poole. Down at Poole, yeah. With, with six points. It's been yeah, and places turnaround. like Billericay are still very fresh in the memory as well. I've just said it to him in there. They've, they've completely <coughs> shocked me by, listen, there's not let's not think we've cracked it and, and think we're going to go and walk all over anybody because that, that if we're guilty of that then we're going to be very very silly but they, they've shocked me about in the way that they've gone from being one of the weakest setups, setups not just um, teams um, to being such a, a strong unit over the course of, like you say over the course of a week over it's, it's a good weekend's work but two games in, in those two days to be as strong to, to have become as strong as we have from being so so weak is they've, honestly they've really shocked me and the two one the wins have come courtesy of Bobby Trainer goals. What can you say about him? He hasn't he said, well, how brave was he down there in the six yard box? To yeah, put that ball in the yeah. No, just the thing is, one of the I said to him at half time, one of the biggest cheers of the night was the one where he's run from pretty much the penalty spot to just roughly where we are now to cut a ball out, and and, and he gets a bigger cheer for that, which he deserves. I think that's I think that's um, that's credit to him. Um, it's one of those, and it we were, we were that close to saying, right, um, Bobby. You when we went down to ten men, Bobby, you have to come off, leave Sam in because he's already playing that natural shape. You got to keep that lad, up, lad on because number one, he'll always more often than not get you a goal. And he, he, he his work rate is phenomenal, and he and he, he can understand positions like that. He's played right wing for a, um, uh, for long periods for Dallas at Walton and Urshan. But he's a good player. He's, he's the number one. He's good to have around. And how pleased are you for the manager as well? Obviously, you're very close to him on a personal level. How pleased are you that the stick he's been getting the last few games before Hendon? Um, how pleased are you for him for these two results? Delighted for him. He's, um, yeah, I mean, you've, uh, I, I can't. It's just delighted for him. It's, 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 it's now you, you'll wake up tomorrow, and or he's, in fact, he's going off somewhere tonight to go and do something for the club. Um, and he's just hit an egg on the head in there. You, you don't mind doing it when, when times are good like this and when people are trying and, and whatnot. It's when you're getting really kicked in the nuts that you think, why the hell am I driving around doing bits and pieces for these people? But like you say, we're, we're mates and um, it's not a case of keeping the, the mate side of things away from football. We combine the pair of them and, and it does hurt when people um, holler and shout at him because when times are bad, you need support as well as you do when, um, when times are going well. Nice one, thanks, thanks Simon. Nice one, mate. Tonight. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.